What up, YouTube? So, uh, anyways, I'm about to go to work, but it's kind of wet, and the, I can't really walk on wet roofs. It's like ice. Um, so we're about to take the rear bumper off. I actually bought a, uh, let's see, I bought a roll pan, so I want to go ahead and install it. It's upside down right now, but we're going to go ahead and put that on. Um, never taken off a rear bumper on these, so I'm not too sure how I'd imagine. It's just a couple bolts. Um, by the way, I guess before we get more into the video, let me show you all the frame on this truck. This thing is fucked up. So, as an auction vehicle, it's a previous total. You can probably already see where you got a big buckle there in the frame. It's got a couple further down, um, even on this side as well, which I'm not too sure what this bumper is going to look like on. I don't, I don't know if it's going to sit crooked. Uh, my gaps don't seem to be that off. You're sitting in the back. I mean, this is definitely a little higher. <laughs> so I'm not too sure even if I should do this. So we'll find out here in just a little bit and see. YouTube, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, I was going to do it the other day, but I saw the frame. I was like, eh, I don't know. So uh, today we're going to go ahead and do it. So I've, I'm just going to begin by taking my license plate off. Um, just two 10 millimeters. Got my ratchet with me. So let me finish getting this off real quick. And we will go to right, step so two. If you don't have a clip tool, I highly suggest these. I got on Amazon Prime. I think there's like six of them for 20 bucks. Greatest investment in the world. I'm pretty sure I've ever made. Um, sorry, I was ducking kind of weird. I didn't want to hit my head on the ladders. I've already done that twice this video. Okay, so I got the wire wiring harness uh, disconnected. Got the license lamps removed and the license plate off. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the bumper. Um, I'm not sure, I, I wanna say they're either probably a 13 or a 15. Let me confirm that here in the next 15 so, seconds. So uh, second best investment is this Dewalt. It's a, it's a half inch. Um, dude, it's strong as shit. Yeah, I'd say it's very comparable to the uh, Milwaukee M18. And of course my ratchet here, uh, it's Milwaukee. It's not knocking either of them, great products. Um, probably really good for at home use. This thing will actually break lug nuts as well. So if you're looking for a drill that will, right there, that's your go-to. This truck's pretty fucked. Just test fitting uh, to see if the 15 would fit. And I'm literally loosening it by hand. So these was never in. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Uh, I think what I'll do, cause look, you got, you got that one. You got the two to the right of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I mean, I might as well just finish it by hand. Um, I don't think anything's gonna drop on me, but we'll find out here about a couple more turns. I don't think it will though. Is the bumper even fucking? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, there we go, there we go. Dude, for a second, because everything's cut up down here, and I just want to make sure it wasn't doing something I should do. All right, let me pause this video and I'll get the next one. So remember, that's a 15 for the top. I'm trying to figure this out. This actually pulls out. You just gotta twist it a little bit and it comes pretty much straight out. So that's extremely easy. I was thinking I might have to take, take the spare off, but um, I'm thinking with the roll pan, which I'll show you here in a second, it's got like an indention for the license plate, but I think that will be in a spot to where you can still get your uh, your spare off, but you will need to remove the license plate to get your spare off if you, you know, encounter that. So let me go ahead and finish getting this off real quick. Uh, you can fit this drill in there, which I, I was able to at the top one doesn't fit perfectly, but what I'm gonna do now is I loosen up this end, I'm gonna loosen up this end, I'm gonna grab somebody to come out, that way I can hold the bumper and I'm not, you know, dropping it on myself once I do them both at the same time. So uh, let me go ahead and remove this piece real quick. Thank you. instructions on this but 
the spare tire cannot be on to fit the roll pan. It, it, it just won't fit. So the spare needs to come off. So I'm about to take the spare off. Um, I really hope that this piece of shit has the shit to get the spare out. I've never checked. If not, I'm going to start cutting shit up. I mean, fuck get it. the bumper off. I've been messing with this for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. That spare will not come off. I've tried everything you can think of. I've watched about 20 different YouTube videos. I think all the comments are death threats to whoever the hell designed this product or I guess secondary latch is what they call it or some shit. Um, if you're watching this, fuck you. Um, if you're the guy that made that. Um, I, I don't know how to get it off. I, I, I'm stuck. I, I've got it off. All my other trucks, it's always been a pain in the ass, but this one's a real pain in the ass, dude. I, I, it just won't, it just won't latch. Well, guys, I'm fucking retarded. I uh, just figured it out. So, <laughs> one of the ends that I needed, I did not have. Um, and the whole time I've been doing it, because like the YouTube videos, they don't get up close to it. And I felt like, dude, it just didn't make any fucking sense why this squarish end would go in there, and then this. I know it's stupid, but you have the little cover here. That's actually what this is for. Is I found that out last time I'd done it. But this was the piece that I was missing the whole time. And uh, I just grabbed it out of my attic because one of my old trucks I had, I took it and I kept it for some weird reason. And uh, it worked. So this came off my, I think off my 14 Sierra. Um, so they're probably, so yeah, now it's coming right down. So thank God. Let me uh, go ahead and get this thing off. So that's what it looks like. The little thing you need to get it on i don't know if i can do it with one hand actually <laughs> give it one sec all righty so then it's got this little c clamp you basically just want to wedge it you know through so i gotta pick the tire up push that down and then through so i'm about to go ahead and do that uh, it's gonna require two as hands. we know so this side's pretty straight this side is not um so basically i need to pull the bed this way for the roll pan to fit it will not fit currently. I'm no body tech, so I'm about to pull that motherfucker till it does. So let me go ahead and uh, get to that. So with the uh, mallet and a piece of wood, I've got it a little more in. Not, I think it's, I think it's close enough. I'm about to test fit it. So let me set this down. Let's see how she looks. I don't even know if I've shown y'all the roll pan yet, but it came white. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so she fits. So now what I gotta do is I gotta take the tailgate off. Um, and then I'm gonna basically just line it up, mark where I'm gonna drill the holes, because it's got four spots to where you drill it and then uh put them put it on so almost there bitch i to remove the tailgate basically you'll just use a little clip tool push that up and then slide it up that way it goes into the uh oh shit that way it goes here because basically your tailgate sits right here you want to bring the hinge to there or whatever you're going to call it and uh that way it releases it so you'll do that on both sides um and then once you get it off this side pulls directly out this side will lift up um you see to the back that's where it'll release so i'm going to lift this side out and then pull it nor the mess christmas season so got the tailgate off we're about to basically retest fit the roll pan i'm gonna have a little mark i'm just gonna put little marks where i'm gonna drill my holes through that way i know you know how it needs to go in so i'll drill them and then i'll mount it back up and put the actual uh hardware that came with it which is right here so we'll do that after all right guys so i'd say if you got a friend that can help you i'd highly recommend it i just held this did all that um still holding it <laughs> it's a little awkward but i can make it work so I'm about to take it back off. We're going to drill all the holes that need to be drilled. Um, I just use a little Posca marker. That way I could push it in there. I'm, so I'm going to drill pretty much everywhere that's green. No, it's okay if it's on the paint. It rubs right off. So I'm going to do that real quick. So this is all the hardware it came with. A little confused. We got 
these are definitely gonna be for the roll pan um all those only five holes i'll be putting in i don't know why i've got two extra maybe they go somewhere else i guess we'll find out here in a little bit i'd imagine these are for the license bracket that's for the license lamps no clue no clue so we'll figure all this out you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and pair these together those those gotta go together there's I'm not using a manual, by the way. I don't believe them. See my so. screws, they're a little in. Well, the holes are way off compared to where it needs to be. Um, it's It comes like that. Um, I'm sure it's not on purpose, but I'm not really gonna mess with it. I don't think anybody's gonna notice besides me. Maybe one day in the future I might, but <clears throat> definitely not today. So that's my only complaint so far on this. But other than that, I think it looks good. Didn't come with any dents, nothing like that. So we're almost done. <clears throat> the only thing is, my uh, my bit I was using broke in half, so I've got one hole and I need four more. So I might use a smaller one and compromise. I'm not sure yet. All right, we're back. I found another one. So um, got four of the holes drilled. <clears throat> the fifth one I, I my mark did it. I guess I didn't touch, so I'm not going to do the fifth yet. <clears throat> um, or I might measure and do it. I don't know. But I'm about to put the roll pan on and then screw everything in and see how she looks. I still need to wire the reverse light it's got the positive and negative on the other side <clears throat> i guesstimate <clears throat> or not the reverse light the license lamp um i'm sure i'll have to break one of these and splice in which isn't a big deal um i don't know if i need to do them both or just maybe one i guess we'll find out here in a second so uh i do need to probably hit the bed back this way just a little bit um or maybe pull it this way i don't, I don't know Either way, um, <clears throat> it is pretty straight. Uh, the color match is okay. Um, again, this is a 16 year old truck, so it's not gonna be perfect. <clears throat> I think it looks good though. I'm about to put the tailgate on. Hopefully the tailgate doesn't interfere with the roll pan because <clears throat> I really should have put it, I sh if I could go back, I would leave the tailgate on, test fit where the bumper needs to go, and then take it off. Um, so I might've screwed myself, hopefully I did it. Um, I try to pretty much just get it as straight as possible on the bottoms. So, I guess we'll see here right, in a sec. So, with the hand of my roommate, we got the uh, tailgate on. <clears throat> pretty much, you know, again, it just slides in over there. This side slides over, and then you got to put the uh, the wires back on to get the tailgate back in. <clears throat> so, now we're about to splice this, hook it up to the license lamp, and then she's so everything's set. on. Uh, right now what I'm doing is wiring up the, uh, the license lamps. So what I did was I cut the uh, the connection to where the old lamp, or the old light used to be, um, and then I'm pretty much just gonna do, you know, negative, negative, positive, positive, and uh, I'm gonna put butt connectors on them, tape it up, and it should be good. Um, I'm using some dry cons. They basically have the, like this little gel in it that hardens up, so once it's on, it's not going to come off, which uh, we'll be putting that on here shortly. But I'll just go ahead and put these together. Also, if anybody's curious where I got these, I'm, I think Amazon Prime, but I think also Home Depot has them. Um, I've used these before. Uh, they're pretty solid. So I'm just going to go to pretty much they just twist on. So you're basically going to do what I did, uh, you know, twist wires together and put this over it. And then you'll, you'll twist the dry con over it. And then it, it tightens up, hardens. Uh, it, it'll probably harden in a couple minutes after. And then I'm going to put tape over it just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to do that right, real guys, quick. guys, I got the uh, connectors on. Um, I'm going to let them dry because they have, like, the silicone on them. And uh, it's supposed to, It's I guess, like a gel. And uh, so the tape won't stick to it right now. But I zip-tied everything up here. Um, should be all set. Um, <clears throat> the light does work. I've already tested that. Well, again, the spare will not go back on once you put the roll pan on your truck uh so let's show you all that and i'll do a video tonight see how bright that light is i'm sure it's not crazy but it'll do but i think it looks good overall um i am happy with it the only thing that is a little weird to me is this weird little gap here i got it on both sides i mean i know the bed's probably built like that but it's just i don't know it's just kind of strange to me i think once it gets lower you won't notice that as much because i am planning to drop this truck Really soon, we're going to have purgatory fab do it again. So uh, anyways, y'all, peace. Thanks for watching.